In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make any vehicle into a towing machine. We're gonna make this bad Larry dually with a hitch. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get the lug nuts off of the both rear wheels. We're having a little bit of trouble getting this wheel off, so I'm gonna go on to the other side and just shake it a little bit. I don't want it to come off. I've never had this issue before. Oh, I don't have the jack under it. I think I have to reposition that. Like it never happened. First step is to put a two inch wheel spacer on. Second step is to put another two inch wheel spacer on. Third step is to uh, put a wheel on. The first one you put on um, face out. Oh, uh, that's how you do it on any du dually if you know what you're doing, you know? I fucked that up. <laughs> step three is to put the one inch spacer on over the studs without lug nuts. Show self center. Fourth step is to put an inch and a half spacer. The fifth and final step is to put the last wheel on facing backwards. That right there is just about what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm about to throw up over here, dude. The filet fish Give me that filet fish give me that fish I'm trying to get the truck ready so we can tow that thing when it blows up. There's real men at work here. Helper, helper, helper. Make sure to start them all by hand, ladies and gentlemen. The only issue you're gonna have with this is you're not gonna be able to fill the inner tire with air. Two tires, you only need like 15 pounds is 30 pounds. The plan now is to make the hitch attachment like right above where the spare tire goes. I'm probably gonna weld a bar like straight across, come up, come out, go down, and then newer. And then we're gonna have a towing rig for the FZ so we can bring it to Lebanon or wherever we wanna go. And I'm greasy and fat and... Is that filet of fish? Boom. Girl, one, two, dude. Take the battery out. That doesn't matter, dude. Take the battery out. See these right there, buddy? Wow, those are actually pretty nice. I know cool. they are. Oh, boy. Dude, you're literally just the weight of you is gonna compress the suspension all the way down. Nuh-uh. Yeah, look, you could, you with no trailer can make this bottom out. Oh, the, the spot where I told you to triangulate and then you didn't is where it's bending. I told him to do this but right here, and then that's what he came up with. We're at Lowe's and we're gonna buy a trailer hitch for the Civic and also get a new eyelet for the ground on the welder. Yeah, you just need the ball. Mm -hmm. okay. This should be the one right there. This one might work. Let me get that famous ball, dude. This is our CEO AJ's welder. We fixed it for him. All right, hold it like a man. Alright, helper, get the bar. Go get the bar over there so I can do some estimates. Right about there. She will never be the same. Charles. <laughs> the hatch is open. Is it? I couldn't tell. It's what it says on the dash. Wow, really? I didn't that just means that we're towing. Left, left. Stop. Wow. Big strong boy. Hooking her up. It's all plugged in, ready to go. Things bent. I want to get right off the back of this thing. 
going for the jackknife? Yeah. Uh, you're still good. Maybe six inches. Dude, we have so much like, clearance. It's almost shaped like an L. Like we literally, oh, okay, that's definitely jackknife. You still got, oh, bumper's almost there. Oh, bumper's touching, bumper's touching. Dude, that's a lot of clearance, dude. You're in the dirt, you're in the dirt. We try and get a car loaded on her. Get the deck toa on it. You think so? You think it'll hold the deck toa? There's only one way to find out. Oh boy. What do you think's actually about to break? I think it might be bent, to be honest. It could be. This is a heavy first vehicle to test this out with. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. The back wheels are not touching the ground at all. Oh. Oh, it's moving the whole assembly. What the? I don't think this can get any sketchier. Did you see what happened? I'm like scared. Oh, this is just. I don't, I honestly don't really want to stand this close. Me neither. Like, this thing's gonna snap off and hit me in the head. Dude, I hear the suspension, like, buckling. Really don't want to stand this close. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> dude, no. Dude, the Civic. Dude. Get out, dude. We gotta drive this thing, dude. The Civic. Oh. That's fully bottomed out. Carlos, what do you think? This contraption, though. There's a jack holding that up with a wood block. Oh! It's actually working! What the? Didn't work out as good as I thought. I mean, I thought it worked out fantastic. Off the ground, off the ground. Dude, this rig works great. Whatever's going on here. So obviously, the Civic's not a good tow rig, but I think we should see what it takes to blow the rear suspension out or the, the hitch. Our buddy has a Kubota with like a really heavy trailer. It's like a mini excavator. Yeah, with like a tilt deck, 15,000 pounds. Could be, I don't know how much that excavator weighs. It's probably really heavy. Yeah, they hold up pretty good, bud. I know they do. <laughs> AJ welded the axle into the hub right there, and his welds blew out, and the axle spun. You guys saw in the Brodozer video, so I rewelded it. Mint, dude. Don't forget to go over and follow us on Facebook and like our videos. The link will be in the description below.